Hi friends, today we look at a wonderful short story. Puss in Boots. Let's start. Once upon a time there was a miller who had three sons. When he died he left his windmill to two of his three sons. But he gave his cat to his youngest son, David, who had always been his favorite. The cat was called Puss. Being given just a cat didn't seem fair and David was a bit upset. His two brothers were happy with the windmill. But they didn't want David staying with them. David sat under his thinking tree, where he always went to think things through. He thought to himself, Puss and I can live in that little house in the woods. David heard a voice behind him. Get me a pair of boots. David looked all around and all he saw was Puss. But he nearly jumped out of his skin when Puss said, Oh, and I'll need a bag as well as the boots. You, you can talk. Asked David nervously. Yes, but keep it quiet. Get me the boots and you will never have to work again. Why do you want boots? Asked David. Just fancied a pair, really, answered Puss, and a bag. If I never have to work, think of all the good I can do for people, thought David. Right, off we go to the shoemaker, he exclaimed. Boots for the cat, said the shoemaker. Never seen a puss in boots before. And a little bag too, please, added David. The boots and the bag were ready the next morning. Puss pulled on the boots and posed in the mirror. As David and Puss walked back home they saw a tree with beautiful ripe apricots. David picked one and it tasted delicious. I've had an idea, said Puss, pick about ten of those apricots please. I've only got claws, you see. Oh, of course, agreed David. Pop them in the bag. Please, master, asked Puss. Then I'm going to carry out the first part of my plan. After a little walk, Puss arrived at the king's palace and knocked at the door. The doorkeeper asked, who is it? I've got something delicious for the king's dinner, said Puss. The doorkeeper said, he's in the garden, playing tennis with his daughter. Puss watched the king and his beautiful daughter, the princess Elizetta, finish their tennis match. Your majesty, began Puss, I have something in my bag to cheer you up. Oh, said the king. The king's eyes widened when he saw the apricots. These were sent to you by my master, Lord Marquis of Carabas. Go back and thank him for his scrumptious gift, said the king. The princess called the butler. Give this excellent talking cat a glass of our finest milk. Over the next few days, Puss brought more apricots for the king. David was amazed when Puss told him about this imaginary Lord Marquis of Carabas. One day, Puss told David to go to the river for a swim. While he was having a lovely swim, Puss took all his clothes and hid them behind a bush. Just as clever Puss had expected, the king's carriage came along. As soon as Puss saw the carriage she cried out, Your Majesty, my master was swimming and someone stole his clothes. We can't have that, can we dear? He said to Princess Elizetta. No, Daddy, he sent us all those delicious apricots, so we have to do something, she replied. The princess went back to the palace, picked out some fine clothes and told the butler to take them back to the river. The butler handed Puss the clothes. Puss told the butler to go back to the palace to tell the king and princess Elizetta that her master, the Marquis of Carabas, would be honored to have their company for tea. David was now dressed in such magnificent clothes that he looked like a prince. I don't think they will like our little house in the woods, Puss, he said. I have a plan, master, replied Puss follow me. They came to a field where harvesters were working. Harvesters, the king and princess Elizetta are coming and just say the fields belong to the Marquis of Carabas. Now, a giant had a castle nearby but he was on holiday, so David and Puss slipped inside. The king's carriage drove by and the king asked the harvesters whose fields they were. They told him, the Marquis of Carabas. He was very pleased. The king and princess Elizetta arrived at the castle and Puss went out and said, your majesties, welcome to the home of my master, the Marquis of Carabas. And in they all went. The minute David and Princess Elizetta looked at each other they fell in love. The king was very impressed with the castle and asked David if he would like to come to the palace to play tennis. It wasn't long until the king realized that the couple were very much in love and he agreed that they should marry. Got any plans for the future? asked the king. We will buy the windmill so everyone in the village can have free bread forever. And lots of fruit from our trees, continued David. Keep some apricots for me, won't you, begged the king. What about you? David asked Puss. Plenty of fun and games ahead for me, 
said Puss with a wink. Soon, David and the princess were married and they lived happily ever after. The end. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like and share, and subscribe to our channel to get these types of amazing short stories.